Good day, adventurers, and welcome back to another video of Fable Beard Company. I'm The Apprentice, and today we're going to be answering the question, what triggers beard growth? May your beards be forever blessed, and treasure forever upon your door. So in past videos, we have talked about certain products that help promote beard growth, but a lot of people assume that this also means that it triggers. It is the thing that creates facial hair. But no, the products aren't the things that create facial hair. But today we're going to talk about the things that do trigger facial hair growth. So I do want to put a, a small disclaimer here. Uh, nothing that uh, important. But I know that this might be a touchy topic uh, for some people because we are going to be talking about, you know, hormones and, and uh, genetics in general. So you might not be very happy with the answers that you're going to hear. So to start us off, just right out of the gate, let's talk about hormones. There are a few hormones that have a great effect on, uh, well, fa facial hair growth, but also just the for the body in general. So, of course, there's testosterone. This is... Uh, pretty commonly known uh, among men um, that we all have a lot of testosterone. Ah, yes. But testosterone is one of the hormones that is in our body that helps promote uh, hair growth in general. So that's why we see a lot of guys that are just hairier uh, more than others, because when you're younger, you don't have a lot of testosterone, but the older you get, the more that you have. More on that in a second. In addition to testosterone, there's also dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. This hormone is responsible for a lot of secondary male characteristics, such as facial hair. DHT is also responsible for helping focus on follicles of facial hair. So that's why some men have thicker beards uh, because the, the hair is just naturally thicker than others. Next, let's talk about genetics. There are going to be men above us, our, our heritage, that just were not very hairy people. And so if you are a part of that lineage, you will notice that a lot of your characteristics, uh, along with uh, skin tone and facial features and all of that, your facial hair probably won't be as strong if you come from a line of men that just aren't naturally hairy. Whereas in there are men on the, uh, <laughs> there are some other men out there that, you know, they were descendants of, of big burly men with big beards. And so it is easier for them to grow out facial hair because of genetics and just history of your family. Another touchy topic, it's going to be age. So if you're young and you are trying to grow facial hair, well, don't be too dismayed because when you're younger, as we said before, the younger you are, the lower your testosterone levels can be. Now, there are some young men that have higher. Again, this is genetics. It's just hormones on, on how we grow up and who we are related to. But as we get older, you are just going to have more testosterone. So you're going to find more hair, not just on your face, but in other places like your back. That's where hair can grow. Next, let's talk about diet. Now, I have talked in past videos about having a healthy diet to help promote facial hair growth. And well, this is just a part of it. If you are taking in the right vitamins and nutrients and all of that, then your facial hair can have a healthier grow to it. It might even come in a little bit thicker. And lastly, believe it or not, stress has a major factor in just hair growth in general, not just for your facial hair, but also for your head hair. Now, it has been said that stress can lead to people being bald. Uh, I don't know about this. I haven't done the research on that. I'm focusing on facial hair. But stress can have an effect on your facial hair growth. If you have a stressful job or you are you just find certain things in life to be stressful and it's easy for you to freak out about certain things, you might find that your hormones might be a little imbalanced. Now, this is pretty simple. I mean, I, I like to think that you can just take some time to uh, manage it by finding something that you enjoy. Sit down, eat a nice meal, healthy meal, promoting, you know, facial hair growth. Uh, but also, you know, do something, uh, go for a walk, uh, go golfing, do some sort of sport that you enjoy, watch a movie for a little bit. Anything that helps you maintain your stress levels. And you might find that this could help uh, alleviate that uh, imbalance and you might find uh, facial hair growth to be a little bit easier for you. So to summarize, there are a lot of various things internally and externally that can affect your facial hair growth journey. 
There are plenty of things that can trigger good facial hair growth, but there's a lot of stuff that can kind of slow you down in the speed of which your facial hair can grow. I hope this video was informative for you. If you did not like some of the stuff that we were talking about in regards to hormones and you felt like that was kind of like a personal level, well, sorry, it's just the truth. It is the body and I can't really do anything about that. So if you did enjoy the video and thought it was helpful, please leave a like and comment down below. And you know what? Why not? Subscribe. We do like to give a lot of informative videos and we don't try to push the idea of people subscribing to this channel very often. That's not true. We want you to subscribe. We want you to be informed on anything, on stories and uh, beards, just all the magic that we can provide for you guys. We really hope that you enjoy our channel. And as we always say, may your beards be forever blessed and fortune forever upon your door. Have a wonderful day.